How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. Creatine has been around for as long as I can remember and has since evolved into an essential supplement for those who are seeking maximum gains. Yet despite its raging popularity, there still remains uncertainty as to how exactly it works and if it is a worthy addition to any strength training program. Based on what we currently know, should you be taking creatine to incorporate into your weekly fitness regimen? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. The type of creatine that most individuals supplement with is called creatine monohydrate, which is a biochemical compound that our body produces in the liver, but can also be found in most meats like chicken, beef, and fish. Its main purpose is to provide fuel during your body's ATP-CP energy system, which takes place during quick explosive exercise like plyometrics, sprints, heavy lifts, or other interval training. Ingesting creatine before or after your workout provides more available phosphate building blocks to your muscle so that the conversion of ADP into the energy powerhouse ATP can be more easily facilitated. More ATP available to your muscles means more available energy and explosive power during the first 10 seconds of the aforementioned activities. This notion has been backed up by numerous studies, which have all come to the general conclusion that creatine supplementation promotes greater gains in fat-free mass, isotonic lifting volume, and sprint performance during intense training. So does this mean you should hop on the creatine bandwagon? Or are there other factors to consider? Let's take a closer look. Despite its proven benefits, there's still a chance that creatine may not be right for you. Current and previous scientific research does not support creatine supplementation as a way to improve muscular endurance and maximum isometric strength. These factors are primarily influenced by other energy systems and not by creatine or the ATP-CP system, meaning that if your goal is to improve your endurance or stamina, which is required by most elite level athletes, you will probably end up just creating expensive pee by taking creatine. In the same breath, if you are not exerting yourself at maximum effort during the first 10 seconds of whatever you're doing, taking creatine probably isn't gonna do a whole lot for you either. And if your goal is weight loss, I have some bad news. Creatine supplementation will induce weight gain due to extra water retention in the muscles. So to sum everything up, if you are trying to improve your one or three rep max in the gym or play a sport that requires quick explosive bursts of activity, creatine supplementation will help. But if neither of these situations sound like you, I recommend spending your money somewhere else. What are your thoughts on creatine supplementation? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.